What's poppin' YouTube? This is Ricky J. Holy smokes. Can you believe it? It's September 1st. And with the new month, we have some new information about EA Sports UFC 5. There's two little bits of information that I'm going to share with you today. Number one, about the arenas. And number two, about the new gameplay animations. Let's look at the arenas. Shoutouts to Insider Gaming for giving us this information. So it says, when you load up EA Sports UFC 5 when it comes out in October, one of the first things you might do is see what arenas are in the game. While we don't know every arena in the game yet, Insider Gaming has learned a little bit about what players can expect. So according to one source, UFC 5 will have many of the venues from UFC 4. Okay, that's alright. Including the UFC Apex, Kumite locations. But as far as new fighting locations, there's going to be a new outdoor venue. I wonder if they're going to stick to that kind of street beefs theme or they're going to give us a totally new outdoor venue as well as a Atahad Arena in Abu Dhabi. Hopefully I said that right. But that's nice that they're giving us an Abu Dhabi Arena. Um, while the sources did say that they were told many of the venues were coming back, they didn't give information as to which specific ones are other than what's mentioned above. So we guess we have to wait and see. It could be expected that the locations like MGM Grand Arena and Madison Square Garden will return. I'm pretty sure they will, like 100% they will. But Insider Gaming hasn't been able to confirm that information yet. So that's interesting. You know what's another thing? The PC gaming community is not too happy that UFC 5 will not be on PC. But uh, I said this uh, in a live stream that I think uh, EA Sports is worried that people are going to hack it if it goes to PC. But anyway, that's uh, for another conversation, another video. Here we go. UFC 5 to add new gameplay animations. So this is something that people have been asking for for quite some time. We want to see authenticity. We want to see guys throwing punches like they do in the octagon. Everybody seems different. It's kind of like in baseball. Everybody has a different swing. Everybody has a different stance. Let's hope that they kind of piggyback that mentality of making everybody unique to their real life counterpart. And we'll get something that is very original and new. But anyway, this says EA Sports UFC 5 releases on October 27th. Players will notice quite a few changes to gameplay inside the Octagon. Insider Gaming has learned that UFC 5 will feature a number of new animations in almost every aspect of a fight. That is unbelievable to hear that. Again, the last game that we were given was back in August of 2020. So let's hope that everything looks and feels new. While fighting players will notice... New animations with ground and pound, elbows and body punches. There we go. Holy smokes. Last year in UFC 4, they got rid of the ground and pound elbows. I remember in UFC 2 and 3, I used to love raining down elbows in full guard. And you you can't you can't do that. You could do elbows in side control, but that was pretty much it. There were there will even be new spinning attacks and calf kicks to utilize in a fight. I love how, you know, we've come to witness the evolution of calf kicks and now we're seeing it in full flight with new animations in the game lastly there will be a new physics based hit reaction system that sees fighters react in more authentic ways during a fight so if that comes into play here <laughs> it's going to look different every single fight when you get hit or when you dish out punishment and that's what we want to see man we want to see things that are different every single time because in every single fight that you see on tv it plays out differently man different animations different reactions and hopefully we see that in the game in one clip sent to insider gaming it shows a fighter falling in an unexpected way when a hard calf kick is landed on a damaged fighter oh my gosh man we're gonna see people spilling over <sighs> i'm not gonna say conor mcgregor i just did but anyway when it launches ufc 5 will be available Okay, we know that on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. But this is great news to hear. You know, to have a game that you just don't know what you're going to expect every single time you play. That's what makes people want to come back. When you just don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be... Um, it's going to leave that door wide open for people to make just such creative videos, montages top 10 knockouts, you name it, man. But I want to see authenticity and I feel like we're going to get it here. We are going to get something that is next generation. And I was saying this too. Let me just say this. 
The jump from PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3 for me was absolutely incredible. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing in gaming. I've been very disappointed in PlayStation 4 and not so, I don't know man, not so impressed with PlayStation 5. I want to see next generation gaming. And I want to see something different in EA Sports UFC 5. UFC 4 was not up to par, man. I'm going to be honest with you. And now I feel like they need to set that bar high, switch things up, make things different. We don't want to see the same game with tweaks, okay? The last time I was impressed by a game was PlayStation VR, you know? I want to see something impressive here in EA Sports UFC 5. I was impressed with WWE 2K22, by the way, and MLB The Show, but you know what I'm getting at? I wanna see a new game, man. I wanna see something different. I wanna see next generation come into play in EA Sports UFC 5. Tell me if you believe that, if you are on board with that, man. I'm getting fired up. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking here. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about this update or these <laughs> these new, um, information that we're getting here i'm stuttering over my words i'm ending off this video this is ricky j love you guys i'll see you next time take care